Okay, so let's go ahead and put this Docker file on our um, on our directory, and um, so right now I'm I'm on that directory, so I'm on the users, my home directory apps flash blog, and all the files are there. So I'm gonna start Atom, and I'm just gonna like um, started using the Atom file, and uh, so I'm gonna um, create a Docker file. So for that, I'm going to do a new file on the root folder, and then I'm just going to call it docker file. <clears throat> and I want to copy the contents of this file here. So I just do raw here, and then just copy and paste um, all the contents of the file on this docker file, <clears throat> and then save. So what's going to happen now, we have the docker file here, we need to build basically the um, the image with that with that with that file name so think about the docker file as being kind of like the the steps of the recipe to create the image and right now if we do docker images we'll see that we have mariadb and hello world which are the ones that we kind of like uh, have um, worked with before and remember these docker images are kind of like um, the blueprints for containers and to see the containers, you do Docker PS to see the ones that are running. Right now, we don't have any any running, and Docker PS A, which is the uh, all the Docker containers either running or not running. And you can see that we have our database container here, the the MariaDB, which is called DB, <coughs> and the two Hello Worlds, which are basically the the test that we did before. But so, how do we create a new image? Um, and again, we have this only these two, Im two images. We do the following. We do docker build dash t, which is the name of the of the image that we're going to um, call flash block and then dot. Dot means uh, look on the current directory for any Docker files and build the image from there. So we'll press enter here. And so see it's gonna like do go through the steps so the step one is uh get centos which is the operating system and as you can see it's downloading that from the docker hub and uh which is amazing here is that it's only 75 megabytes which is kind of like a whole operating system in 75 megabytes is is amazing but that's how docker is is um is built for efficiency and and it's it's all very fast and and kind of like only the things that are required are the ones are the things that are included in these images. So um, it's uh, it's amazing that that we can have the whole CentOS Linux on on 75 megs. But now it's going to go through um, extracting that, and uh, it should now go through step two, which is the yum install. All the libraries that we we had on that Docker file. Um, this will take a bit because it needs to download all the libraries and then install them. So let's see how how that goes. Perfect. Looks like all the libraries were installed. Now it's installing pip. And now it's going really fast. So now it's going through the installing the requirements TXT, as you can see. So Flask and all the libraries that we kind of like uh, required. And it's done. So now we have an image. So let's clear the screen. We have an image that's called Flask Blog. Perfect. So now we can create a container that is uh, spawned from that from that image. Okay, so before we run the container based on that flash blog image that we just created, uh, we need to run the um, the database container because we don't have it running right now. So you can see Docker PS shows that we don't have anything running. <clears throat> and the way you run a container that's not running, you just do Docker start. And you pass, instead of the image name, you pass the container name, which is DB in this case. 
So let's use Docker start DB <clears throat> and Docker just responds back with DB, which means that it's running now. And I can check that by doing Docker PS. So now I see that the database container, the DB container is up and running. So in order for us to, um, <clears throat> to run for the first time this, this container and have it available for us, we're gonna do the following, docker run, we're gonna have a dash i dash d, which means uh, we're gonna run it as an interactive and as a daemon, meaning that it's gonna be running all the time. Uh, I'm gonna put dash p because I need to expose port 5000 um, on that container so that um, normally when we run um, uh, Flask, it runs on port 5000, and I need to be able to see port 5000 from, from the outside, from, the, from our browser. So um, dash V, um, uh, meaning that we're going to have a, a mount, a volume, that is going to be uh, basically from, from the... Um, from the current folder, we're going to have a, a, an actively synced mount or folder that's going to be replicated inside. And why we do that? Because we want to be able to edit we're using Atom. We want to we be able to edit here on our like user JOR, Escobar apps, flash blog files and have them immediately be replicated inside the container. So think of this. Uh, mount is a very common Linux thing. You mount a disk and then you can like unmount it. But mounting a volume means that <clears throat> um, that that the, the contents of my local computer are going to be immediately synced. Any changes that I do inside of the of the container, and the container can run based on that. So here we pass the whatever your um, your uh, local folder is, which is this users J O R Escobar apps flash blog, right? So users. JR Escobar apps um, flash blog <clears throat> and we're going to mount that inside OPT flash blog which is the the directory within or inside the the uh, the container um, now we need to pass the name for the container so blog is going to be the name so we're going to do docker start blog docker stop blog and then finally and very important uh, we're going to link the this container to the DB container, which is the MariaDB um, container. And within our container, the app, the, the flash blog, it's going to appear as MySQL. So it's going to appear as a MySQL host that we can connect to. And what, what it's doing is that it's connecting towards that uh, external container, uh, which is the MariaDB. Finally, we need to put um, <clears throat> what the name of the image that this uh, container is going to be based on. And as we as we all know, that is um, the flash blog. And we pass bash at, as the command at the end because we want to be able to um, to run and, 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 and SSH inside this, this Docker blog. And bash is basically like the prompt that you get when you go inside the, the server. So it's a, it's a bit of a, a long line, but um, you can check it out here and, and copy. Remember to replace this user's JOR Escobar with whatever Mac or Windows local directory you have your, um, you copied down your Cloud9 content, okay? So now um, when we run this, we're gonna be able to um, start running the container. So let's do that. And I get this big long ID for the container. So now if I see, uh, if I do Docker PS, I see that now flash blog is running and MariaDB is running. And see how it says bash here? That's kind of like the command that, that it, it's running so that it's kind of like in a loop waiting for us to get inside of it. Um, so how do we get into the, to that container? Uh, we'll check it out in a moment.